My man, state your name and let them know you on Nick of Belly TV. Alright, name's Zan Drummond. You can call me Jax. So. And you on Nick of Belly TV? Nick of Belly TV. Shouts to Nick of Belly TV. That's what's up, man. Talk to me. You a Nick fan? Yeah, man. I'm a Nick fan, man. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, a, I ain't a recent fan of the recent moves over the years, man. What you don't like about the, nah, the moves? Nah, man. The management, man. They're not, they're not, they're not doing well with building the team up at all. You know, I'm, I'm hoping it's a change this season. I'm hoping. So, so you're not happy with Coach Fizda? Coach Fizda, nah, not hoping. I'm not hoping with none of them. So Talk to me. Why, bro? Let's see. I, I guess we'll start with the mellow situation. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. You know, mellow, you play hard for the city. You play hard, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know what I'm saying? Nick fan, us as Nick fans, we, we expected too much out of him. But rather than the management office building around him, and look what happened. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it is what it is, though. I'm, well, I'm hearing rumors about Kyrie Irving join, joining and stuff like that. So, How you, know, you feel about that? I, I feel excited about it, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm hoping he does join, you know what I'm saying? It'll be a good look for him. You know what I'm but I, hope, I also hope the management office can get some pieces around him just as much. You know, good shooting guard, good small forward, yeah. center and all that stuff. You know, How you feel about these rookies that's on the Knicks, like Mitchell Robinson and Kevin Knox? How you feel about them players, man? They, they are, right, but they're not, they're not like on the all-star caliber. They're not a playoff team, you know so I can't really sit there and say hey, they appeal. Not too much is heard about them yet. Mm. But they still, they still young. They still got just got get the just got get the right coach around them. You not impressed with Mitchell Robinson three blocks per game, three blocks. It's not, it's not bad. I'm impressed with him overall. You see, but I'm not impressed with everybody. Everybody else still got everybody else still stuff up. It's a process. Yeah, you know? Know so, so, so you feel that way about wait, Kevin Knox too? Wait, wait. I, I feel like he's young. He still got a lot to learn. He still got a lot to learn. He just got to get somebody like a veteran or something coming back him up and teaching him. How, how she goes and stuff like that. Well, Kevin Durant is uh, Kevin Knox, mentor. But like, like you know, yeah. he looks up. That's his favorite player, Kevin Knox. That's good. And he got a deep connection, Kevin Durant, with Alonzo Trier. Yeah. Alonzo Trier, you know, yeah, he used to go to uh, Kevin Durant high school games or vice versa. Kevin Durant used to visit Alonzo Trier, watch him play, you know, during his high school game. So. Are you a fan of Kyrie Irving coming to the Knicks? Am I a fan of Kyrie Irving coming to the Knicks? Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of Kyrie, man. Kyrie's a hell of a player, man. He goes hard, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, I felt like the Knicks should have got him sooner. Yeah. We should have got him sooner before Boston did, but... Did you, did you watch the game between Boston and um, Milwaukee Bucks? Yeah, man. It was a hell of a game. Good game. Did it look like Kyrie Irving was really into it? Looked nah, like... he wasn't into it at all. He wasn't playing like Kyrie at all. Looked like he had his mind on Knicks. Yeah, it looks like he had his mind on something, man. Free agency or something, man. He's, he's, he's about done with Boston, it looks like. Yeah, and as far as Kevin Durant, my as opinion, as did you find it fishy that Kevin Durant got hurt got during hurt. game six? Looked like he was trying to throw it. Looked like he was trying to make a statement hey, to say, all right, to Draymond Green. See if you could win the most important game. They pulled it off, though. They pulled it off, yeah. Yeah, they beat uh, Houston Rockets. You know what I'm saying? One thing about Golden State is... What people gotta understand what Golden State is, Golden State has never been Look at me, bro. Look at oh, your camera. One thing about Golden State is this. Golden State is an organic team, no matter what. You see. With KD or without KD, they're organic. They really built around their players. This that's a perfect example of what of how teams should come together okay. in the NBA. See, look at Golden look at Steph Curry. He was picked what, number six when he was right. drafted? Now look, now he's a pot, he's the most deadliest shooter in the whole league right now. Okay. You see, that right there is hard work and dedication and great management skills. And that's what the Knicks need right there. Okay. That's what we need right there. Some great management just to make sure the team the team gets to that that type of that type of caliber. Honestly, I think all the all the NBA teams should take an example of that right there. Okay. See? Are but, you was you upset when Tim Hardaway Jr. and Trey Burke got traded? Yeah, I was, yeah, I was a little upset, but I also felt like Tim Hardaway was getting paid a little too much. You know, he, he he he's not a player that's worth the money they were paying him at that time. But, no, I'm going to cut my time short, though. All right, my man. I want to thank you for coming on Nickavelli TV. You thank got you. that call, right? Coming thank through. You, you. And it is what it is. We out. Peace. All right, man. Peace.